Aloha Cupcakes. Today I'm working with the DaVinci Pinstriping and Scrolling Brush. I'm also going to be using Alpha Enamel's Alpha Purple. Just because purple. Now the Pinstriping Brush here is as close to a Grumbacher as I've seen in a very long time. This thing pulls probably some of the nicest looking lines I've had come out of a brush without any amount of me working with it. Just out of the box, it is pulling pristine lines. Now, I did notice when I start getting to some of the tighter curves, it flares out a bit. So it really is a straight lining brush. So I did switch over to the scrolling brush. Now, this brush has a very thick, very dense body with a sharp tip that pulls. You know, almost like to a needlepoint kind of line. I really kind of like that design because it, it works with the way that I flow with this. I tend to pull heavier lines and move them into much thinner lines for some of my designs. So a brush like this works very well for me for that. So, you know, I already like it. Now, this design that I'm working on, in all honesty, I meant to stop probably about 15 lines before where I am right now. But reality is that sometimes I get a hold of a brush that's just fun. And I don't know what it is about this one. It could be just because it holds a ton of paint. It could be because I don't have to squeegee it off after every couple of palettes. And I was just able to go. And I think maybe when it comes right down to it, that is probably the detail that we should all know about is how long do you have to work with this brush before you have to go repalette, clean it out and start fresh. So I don't think I actually had to replenish my paint on this. And it's it's closer to like 40 degrees here with maybe 20 percent humidity. I am in a place where it is just dry and cold right now. So being able to work like this was just not something I've been able to do for the last few months. So you got to understand, I was a little happy with that. And maybe that's the point. So in terms of brushes, I'm very happy with these. I really can't wait until I have a job that I can work these things into. I don't know what that will be, but highly recommend these things. I will do my best to find a link where you can get these things in stock. I know that that's not... It's not typically how I do these things, but uh, I think this is a brush that I most everybody should get a handle on at least once. With that being said, I think that out of the set of brushes that I'm working with, this one might be one of my favorites. So here we are. It was oodles of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay moist, my friends.